hey what's going on guys welcome to another video today we are going to do a very simple uh, calculation for the difference between two dates and basically it's something related to um, plan and consume okay so this is actually a a question by Jumai from Algeria and basically um, I will be doing a very simple example maybe not exactly as how Jemai wanted but something very very similar so this is this could be the first addition of it and there'll be more uh, additions or similar cases like this that I'll be doing later in the future so without further ado let's check it out okay so to start off the uh, tutorial or example i'm just going to assume that this is related to task okay so therefore we have the id as usual and we have the task column from to so both is basically start date and end date the status so i'll explain why there is a status column here so we have plan and consume so plan is basically the number of days required between the two dates and I'll, I'll explain to you how we capture this automatically in AppSheet so now back in AppSheet we have all the columns in place however we just need to add two expressions for this to work so in plan column which is the number of days as usual we are using the duration expression or formula which is the hour the end date minus the start date divided by 24 so uh, there is actually another option where you can actually plus one if say you want to count the day itself the start date as one day as well so you can pl uh, add plus one if it's just the difference between two dates just leave it to divide by 24 okay now the next one is the consume column which is the number of days consume so of course you have the planned days but consume could be different from what we plan could be lesser or more so for consume we are using uh, a slight modified expression as compared to the one earlier where we add if the status is completed and the date in from column is less or equals to today's date then it will um, sort of uh, calculate the duration automatically for you so let's keep this a try so say for example if say pack items is completed then you can see since today's date is the 20th of april so it consume from 15 to 20th is five days all right the date that this video is being created is on the 20th of april so bear that in mind so let's go next to procure item completed as well so 18 of april 20th of april so that's two days consumed so we plan to do it within seven days and we end up consuming only two days if this is completed it's mentioning here zero since the start date is today and it ends today so it took them zero days to complete actually if this zero is not suitable for your case you can actually add 24 plus 1 instead so that the if say the date is completed on the day itself let's say here then the day consume is 1 which is today all right so this is subjective to your case some some use cases they will not prefer to make it as one so 
simply remove the plus one but if you want to calculate that same day as one then just add plus one so as the rest as follows okay okay so for the days or dates that's yet to be uh, to happen basically we can add another um, logic that this allow or maybe uh, to mention that this is done prior earlier than the planned date okay so anyways this is more or less the way of doing it so i hope this is something that addresses our good friend from algeria and for the rest of you as well so I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video useful and of course so that you can uh, be able to see more contents like this in the future and perhaps this could not uh, answer the exact uh, case for Jemai since I would assume it's related to the number of holidays or leave left for the employee which I'll be doing uh, in the next video so thank you very much guys for your time and I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'm Aris Azahar. Take care. Bye-bye.